In August of 1996, the University of Pittsburgh and I decided that we should see other people. And so, even though I promised myself I never would, I moved back home to my folks' house. By then, my sister had taken up residence in what was my old room, and so I was relegated to a couch in the basement. This was in the earliest stages of my wrestling career, and I remember, not long after I moved back onto that couch, my mom sat me down, and she said to me, just imagine for a moment, if you weren't a professional wrestler, what would you be? And I didn't miss a beat. I said to her, as matter-of-factly as I say it right now, I'd be a failure. My parents were never big on my decision to chase my pro wrestling dream. They weren't then, and here we are a couple decades later, and I don't think their opinion has changed very much. My opinion of professional wrestling hasn't changed very much since then, either. I'm passionate about the craft of professional wrestling, and I chase it because I love the art form. I didn't get into this because I wanted money. I've never cared about the money. I've never cared about fame. I've never chased a claim. And I've done it for no other reason than pro wrestling captured my imagination at a very young age. I love professional wrestling, and I know at least one other person who feels exactly the same. And his name is Johnny Kidd. Last year, I came out of retirement to face John in Manchester, England, for what should have been his last match. I hadn't wrestled in three years, give or take. I remember changing my schedule. I went from eating three meals a day to seven. I remember changing my cardio, training 30 minutes a day up to 90. I wanted to be as ready for you, John, as I possibly could. Because as you said, you won one, I won one. Let's finish this. I have a laundry list of injuries, long enough that once they made my mother cry. And those are just the ones she knows about. And I know I don't have many matches left in this body of mine. I gave one to you, John, last year in Manchester, so that you and I could find closure. But we didn't. You want to fall, I want to fall. The match ended in a draw. And the closure that you and I needed eluded us once again. And I thought that time had run out until seven weeks ago, when you were here in my house, the wrestle factory that I founded, that I built with my sweat and my sacrifice, and we had a special training session. I watched you in that ring, not 10 feet from where I stand right now. And I saw you come out of a head scissor James Mason put you in with the kind of panache that only Johnny Kidd comes out of a head scissor. And I knew time has not run out, John. We will get the closure we both want and we'll get it in Wolverhampton. We'll get it on September 2nd one fall to a finish, world of sport rules, Mike Quackenbush, Johnny Kidd, the master of a thousand holds, Mr. Smooth, John, let's finish this.